Hello, welcome to the next section, Security Tools and Security Distros. Here we will look at various security tools and distribution packages that can be used for security on a Linux system. We begin this section with the video Linux SXID. In Linux, normally a file has permissions of read, write, and execute. Apart from these permissions, it can also have special permissions such as set owner user ID, SUID, and set group ID upon execution, SGID. Due to these permissions, it is possible for a user to log in from their account and still run a particular file program with the permissions of the actual file owner, which can be root also. SXID is the tool for monitoring SUID, SGID on a regular basis. Using this tool, we can track changes in the SUID, SGID of files and folders. To start monitoring SUID, SGID files and folders, we begin with the installation of the package. The first step is to install SXID. To do so, we run this command. Once the installation completes, we open the etc directory and look for sxid.conf, conf as in configure file, and open it and edit as shown to use the tool as per our requirements. In the configuration file, look for this line. Change the value for email to any other email ID if you wish to get the output of changes whenever sxid is run to your email ID. Next, look for the line which reads keep underscore logs and change the value to any numerical value of your choice. This number defines how many log files to keep. I change this value to 6. If you wish to get the logs even when SXID finds no changes, then change the value for always underscore notify to yes. We can define a list of directories separated with spaces for the option search for SXID to use as a starting point for its search. However, if we wish to exclude any directory from the search, we can specify it under the exclude option. Suppose we have a directory usr local share to be searched, and the usr local directory has been mentioned in the exclude list, then it will still be searched. This becomes useful for excluding a main directory and only specifying one. There are many more options in sxid.conf file that can be configured as per our requirements. Once we are done with editing the file, save and close the file. Now, if we want to run sxid manually for spot checking, we use this command. Running it gives this result. Here, the hyphen C option helps us to define the path of the config file if it is not automatically picked up by the command. The hyphen K option runs the tool.